guys, happy Sunday. It is the weekend and we are just hanging out. It is um, early afternoon and Grayson is having some lunch. Let's go see what he's up to. Hi Grayson. What are you doing? Are you eating lunch? Are you eating it or is it all just on the floor? A couple things. What are you eating? Cheese? Turkey and some fruit. Now it's so funny because when he was really little I tried to give him cheese and he hated it and would not eat cheese at all. But now I just gave him some cheese for the first time in a while and he is going ham on it. He loves it. Yeah. And of course Felix is around to get any scraps. He's kind of like a dog. He really likes turkey. Huh. I am so bummed because yesterday we went to the park and um, I meant to bring the camera with me so that we could vlog our walk. We went to a park in Columbus and did like almost a four mile walk and it was beautiful but it was so hot. It was like 88 degrees outside. Yeah, we were exhausted by the end of it and Grayson was exhausted too even though we pushed him in the stroller the whole time. But today we are planning on going shopping. We need to get a few things. Um, we're going to go on a trip to Florida here soon. I need a new bathing suit. Anthony needs some nice clothes because um, he just wears the same like outfit every time we have something nice. We have my brother's graduation coming up and a couple other things. So we're going to get that. I need, Like I said, I need a bathing suit. I need some new shorts. And we need new pillowcases because our pillowcases are so old and they're like lumpy and they're just not good anymore. So I hope to bring you guys along while we go shopping today. Before we go shopping, we had to do a little swinging. This is Grayson's absolutely favorite thing to do. He just thinks that this is so fun. Um, so we have a little park in our neighborhood that has baby swings, but we um, have one of these swings. Anthony's parents put it up for us, and we just put it on our, we have a big tree in our backyard, and so we just hooked it up to the top of this tree, and Gray loves it. We do this every day. He loves being outside. He still can't walk completely, so he doesn't really like running around on the grass. He doesn't like crawling on it. Yeah, say hi. Can you say hi? He gets, hi. yeah, hi. He gets mad if he isn't going fast enough um, or high enough. So I constantly have to stop and then <laughs> have him swing big. But yeah, this tree is so great and we just have the branches. We don't have like a little swing set yet because he's He's too little to really appreciate it so we just put up this one swing and he loves it but it is just it's windy today but it is a beautiful day it's like 80 degrees Anthony just mowed the lawn a couple days ago so it's actually looking nice and bad news about our AC unit it is not working anymore um, it's been on this last leg like for the whole two years we've been here Woo! And so we're gonna go and have to buy a new one, which is a bummer. the next day. Um, I meant to take you guys out with us while we went shopping. We ended up going to Ikea and we bought like three pillows and then that was it. And then we were going to go to Kohl's um, to get some um, outfits for Anthony because he has no nice clothes. But it got too late and Grayson needed to take his second nap so we ended up not going. So it was a really boring day actually. And then I went yesterday, Grayson and I, we actually walked to the Coles because it's really close to our neighborhood. And of course, I forgot to take the vlogging camera. So um, I want to show you what I bought at Coles. So I don't know if like any of your husbands but or boyfriends or significant others, but 
my husband never goes and shops for himself. If it if he does, it's like he's in there in like two minutes and gets what he needs and goes. And so he ends up not having anything new and he just wears the same clothes over and over again. They all get holes in them. Well, he has no nice clothes. Every time we have a um, like a nice event, he just wears the same sweater over and over again. And I will insert pictures here to show you. So he just wears that gray sweater over and over again, and we're coming into summer now. It's like the middle of May, and I'm like, you need to get like some adult clothes and actually look like an adult. So I went to Kohl's and I bought him some stuff. I need him to try them on to see like if I got his size or not. So I just wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting. Okay, so I ended up getting him a pair of khaki pants, and I also got him... A pair of black pants and I got him pants from two different companies or designers or whatever um, these pants are from Van Heusen and they're like stretchy but they are ones that like he's gonna have to like I don't know if you can see that but he's gonna have to like iron them and stuff like they're actually nice pants and then the khakis I think these are no iron pants um, and what company are these from? Croft and Barrow. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, Croft and Barrow. So I just got him two different kinds of pants from like two different colors from two different um, designers or whatever. And I kind of hope like he finds a designer he likes. I don't know. I just want him to have like a nice black pair, a nice khaki pair, maybe a nice gray pair too. So that's kind of what I did with pants. And then, so of course, he does not have any nice shoes. The only shoes that he has are like shoes that go with his suit, which would not work. So I got him Croft and Barrow, and I just got him like regular black shoes. I need him to try them on. I don't even know if I got the right size or if they don't fit or whatever, but I got those for him. And then, so I got him two different shirts. I got him a just a plain blue one with a tie. He is like, all his ties like are old and are falling apart, so he needs new ties. So I got him that one. So I got him this one too. So they're kind of similar. This one is, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but it's just like a blue checkered shirt and then like a blue tie. So I just got him these two, and I figured both of these could go with black or khaki pants. Um, and so I wanted him to try these on. So that was my big adventure at Kohl's. Um, sorry I didn't take you guys along, but it was actually really busy. And I don't know how comfortable I am like vlogging in um, public yet. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Hopefully when Anthony tries them on later today, I can get it on the vlog. And we'll see how good I did and how I was like how true I was to um, his size. We'll find out. Does anybody's floor look like this after every meal with their toddler? And this is after I swept it up. It was all over the floor here. What do you have to say for yourself? One of the toughest things about Grayson being a year old is I've started to give him um, you know, regular adult food, obviously cut up, but it seems like he fights me every meal. And unless I'm sitting in front of him and singing one of his thousands of nursery songs that I've learned over the years, he will not eat. He will just spit it out on the floor or throw it on the floor. And I give him a varied amount of foods. Tonight it's some of my uh, mac and cheese that I have for lunch. And um, I made him some like pizza on whole wheat pita bread with some pizza sauce and cheese. And I gave him some banana and um, strawberry to eat. And it just seems like most of it ends on the floor, which is kind of annoying. So that's what happens every meal at our house. And Felix is always lurking in the background, seeing if he can eat anything. He especially loves it when Gray has tuna fish sandwiches. Mm-hmm. You say hi. Grayson has also started to fight me on naps lately. Um, I used to have him on a good two-nap schedule. He'd take one in the morning around 9, 9.30 till about 11, 
and then it went in the afternoon from about 2 to about 4, 4.30, but that's not happening anymore. Um, as an example, today, I put him down for a morning nap, but he did not go to sleep. He did not go to sleep until about 2, and then he slept until like 4.30. So I think he's just getting ready to transition into that one nap a day stage and I'm just not ready for it. So it's the end of the night. Grayson and I are just winding down. Anthony's out with his friends tonight. Say hi. Yeah, you see that baby? He sees himself in the reflection. Yeah. We're just hanging out. I just put Grayson in his PJs. He is, believe it or not, already starting to grow out of some of his 12-month pajamas, which is crazy because he's just now turned 13 months. So he is growing. He, I swear he just went through a growth spurt. And his hair is growing really long, too. I am just set up a time to go get his second haircut because he is, is already getting way too long. But it is still blonde, not turning um, dark yet, so I'm not sure if it's going to stay this way or it's going to slowly get dark he is walking much more now oh don't grab that he likes the strap on the camera gray i just taught him today how to sign please in sign language let's see if he'll do it say please say please okay. he's not gonna do it he is exhausted this is what happens when grayson only takes one nap a day he is obviously not ready for it because it's like 6.30 and he is exhausted and he wants to go to sleep now. And usually we won't let him go to sleep until at least 7 o'clock. So I'm trying to keep him up for another 14 minutes. <laughs> I hope I can make it. Grayson, do you see the camera? Uh. The camera. It's right in front of you. So yeah, these are our typical nights. We just kind of hang out. It is a disaster. I can't believe I'm going to show you, but this is our living room right now. All of Grayson's toys. We recently got this storage container so that we can store all of his clothes in it. It used to be my dad's when he was growing up, and so now we got it, which is really awesome because they're usually pretty expensive to buy. So that's usually I have to clean it up every night. <laughs> Don't touch the camera. Say hi. Mm -hmm. And of course, Felix is always in the background. You want to say good night? Mm -hmm. Say good night. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where I'm going to end the vlog today. Um, if I can get Anthony to show some of his outfits when he tries them on tonight, I will get them on the vlog. But he's pretty shy being on the vlog, so I'm not sure if he'll be okay with that. But. If not, I will see you in the see you next time. Say bye. Okay, bye guys.